What's up gamers and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc or vice versa if you want to be official about it but so where we left off was pretty much Makoto went to sleep and he was all oh, oh. he was probably dreaming about Saika I can confirm so we're just you know getting right into it Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! That voice. Apparently, it's morning. But thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Maybe I should go find Sai. Can we can figure out where to go from here? together she did say she's my assistant now yeah she's done so much okay it's decided I'm gonna head to her room with a newfound determination I left my room <laughs> I'm ready I'm ready to leave my room oh this song is so fire Of a ball. Hey! Good morning, Makoto! Uh, uh, good morning? <laughs> yes, morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Uh, sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Makoto really do be short, though. Hold up. I need to do a quick height comparison. 5'3, five, 5'9. Five, um. No. Oh, yeah, I was going to. Oh my gosh! We're neighbors! That's so cute. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Hello. Uh, good morning. Hi, okay. Makoto. Oh, Makoto, perfect timing. Uh-huh. Um, listen. Oh, listen, I have a favor to ask. Oh, a favor? What is it, Saika? A favor? Um, I was just getting ready to head out. If it's okay, would you like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. All right, I, I put auto on thinking it might time with me speaking, but actually I spoke a little fast, but yeah, sure. Uh, Where are you um, headed? Oh, um, I've been thinking that there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. What the freak's I think? Self-defense? Um, uh, well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us at any time. You never know. Still haven't gotten that psycho voice down. <laughs> Who trapped us here? Or have presented us with rules for murdering each other? Whoever put us in this insane position? She's right. You never know when they might attack. Um. So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. Oh, a weapon to protect yourself? <laughs> well, now that I think about it, the display case in the gym entry had a bunch of stuff. Maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Hmm, Saika. Was that uh, your really good intuition right there? Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have really good intuition. It's not like I've read exactly what you were thinking. And it was a specific thing three times. It's not like I freaking went... Oh, the gym? Like, what if I was thinking about the... the the freaking the fish tank in the men's bathroom on the first floor that's self-defense weapon what if i was thinking that side huh? am i really so easy to predict anyway we should head to the gym for anyone who just okay this is just telling me how to fast travel Oops. what the frick psycho whatever i don't want to talk to you 
Is there anyone, is there anyone here? I'm just gonna do a quick, uh, quick run through. Actually, you know what? For the fans, for the fans, I'll talk to some of Hey, um... We're going to the gym, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> but then let's get... Okay, yeah. I hope, I hope you're happy now that I had to do that. Yes, the Jonas! Mm-hmm. Hmm. Mr. Naidi, Miss Maizono, where are the two of you off to? A man and a woman growing closer? Hey, what are you trying to say? Hmm. Like when two people are stuck in a hostage situation, and over the course of the story, they fall in love. There's really no other way to express it but to say... I feel as if... How very poetic! Hey, um... Makoto, do you have any idea what he's talking about? Nope, I don't have a clue. I'm talking to you again. So it seems. Off we go into the gym. Oh, hi, Celeste. I hope you are well. Well, hello. I hope the two of you are having a nice day. Okay. Good morning, Dad. <laughs> Exchanging such common greetings is somehow strange. Is that okay? Given the circumstances and everything, what the slasher guy? You know, sometimes you scare me a little. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm off. Wait, that's not what. Hey, um, should we get going? Yeah. Frick, I keep. All right, no one's left here to talk to. Yo, is this keep out police tape? Sick. Okay. The red door. Oh, hi, Toko. Oh my gosh. There's a lot of people here. Toko, together with those other two, quite a combination. What's your problem? What do you want? You look like you have something to say. Oh, oh no, I was just thinking that uh, you three make a pretty new team. <laughs> uh, let me make this perfectly clear. Me hanging out with Two people who have muscles where their brain should be is not by choice. Just a second! Wow, that was super mean. Hmm. Yesterday you were complaining how nobody invited you. That's the only reason I asked you to come with us. Mm -hmm. I never asked you to do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, can you ask me to come with you? That's what she's saying. I had to translate that. Okay, I was just uh, looking through the report card, and Hafumi is 342 pounds, and he's 5'7", and his chest is 59 inches. He is... He, he really is Big Chungus. One day, that joke will be obsolete. Whoa. Stop trying to drag me farther into your meat dimension. Hmm. Jeez, I can't believe she just ran off. You think we should go after her? Wait. We shouldn't pressure her any further. Well. Oh, yeah, good point. I like water and oil anyway. It'd be weird if they did get along. Oh, well, she's, she's gone. Mm. Hey, Makoto. Well, look who it is. Sup, guys. What are you up to? Yeah. We're picking up where we left off yesterday. I'm really hoping we'll find something today. If we do, I'll be sure to level and out a little ASAP. I think so. What about you, Sakura? Hmm. We have to find some way out of here, no matter what. Um. And that's why you went with Hina and Toko. However. Well, Hina's the one that invited Toko. I have trouble talking to people directly. Uh, understandable. Understandable, have a nice day. No, that's funny. I 
feel like someone's behind me. I mean, obviously, there's probably not someone behind me. Psyka, do I want to talk to you? Or hey, um, here we go. I may be able to find something here to protect myself with. Hmm. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. Psyka, what did you just... Uh, you know, just quickly grab a couple more coins. Nice. Okay. Is this a sword? Oh no. I'm dying. I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in gold coating. But... Jeez, I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um... Wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um... Right, there's literally a... Like, t a ton of blunt objects right there. That could work. It might help liven up your room. Oh yeah. My room is too boring. And the first decoration? Sword. You think so? <laughs> but I guess you'd better be careful taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. Oh, I'm glad you mentioned that, Saika. I've got 3,000 newspaper in my back pocket. Perfect for wrapping gold swords. Just like that, it's been decided. <sighs> I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Saika, we came to this freaking place to get you a self-defense weapon. We got you the freaking sword and you declined. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away, right? Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? You'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for sharing. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Yeah, I'm Makoto, the big boss. I'm the big mm -hmm. boss. Coming in at 5'3", 115 pounds, 29 inch chest. I am massive. I will protect you. Saika giggled as she said that. That mysterious smile. I can tell it comes from the heart. Makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> you know, she's just perfect. Okay, we can stop looking for a weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. Hey, Saika, what do you want to talk about? I don't really know. I don't have much stuff to talk about because I'm a pop star and all. Well, uh, why don't we just not talk and just think? Good idea. Um... um <sighs> I know I said I wanted to talk, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come. It's okay. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? Like I said, I'm psychic. Just kidding. I have really good intuition. Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off into space or whatever. <sighs> stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably super bored, just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um... No, it's not that it's boring, it's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. Well, I'm Koto Naiki. I have time to do literally nothing. I'm on that 24-7 Fortnite grind. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um... Listen. Hey, um, this is kind of out of nowhere, but... Koto, do you have a dream? Reaction. Dream! Well, what about you, Saika? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. Well, I've always wanted to be a pop star. I... I, my dream is... I've always wanted to be a star... <laughs> star, as long as I can remember. Mm -hmm. I grew up without a mother, you know. And my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that all changed when I saw a pop star on TV for the first time. 
She was so pretty, like a princess, and she could sing and dance. <laughs> but more than anything else, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to give that kind of encouragement to others. <laughs> Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Well done, Saika. You are perfect. Honestly, it's really incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. What the frick, Saika? What were... What did you do? I mean, there's obviously the... The first thing your brain goes to. But there's also... She could have freaking killed people. She could have... She could have... She could have done V-Buck scams. Huh? You see? I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they come true. My dream was to play Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. It came true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream. I returned. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep! Oh, I'm dying, help me! To make your dream! A reality, you have to keep... <laughs> I just freaking died. You have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. Um... In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep on swimming against the current. Hina could do answer that because she's the ultimate swimming pro. You see, it's funny. Without even taking to breath. That's without even taking time to breathe. That's literally me doing it's the character voice lines because I forget to breathe. I, I really do. Or I just don't take time to breathe. Maybe it's because I don't breathe for so long that I don't want to just go. <gasps> And so, I just don't breathe. That's the kind of world my dream life is in! Is that really it, though? That didn't say it. Is it not fun at all? Oh, no! Oh, no! Don't get the wrong idea! It's super fun! But... But that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um... I might have to cut that out. That was... That was disgusting. I enjoy every single day I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why... But that's the thing that scares me the most! If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Okay, Saika, here's the thing. <sighs> that was gross. I need to cut that out, too. All right, here's the thing, Saika. Why are you worrying about your group's popularity if, one, you are going... To live here for the rest of your life. Two, you're going to get killed. Or three, you're going to commit murder. None of them will be good for your group's reputation, so to speak. But it is what it is. Then the dream dies. Those wonderful days come to an end and everyone Oops. goes their separate ways. Sayaka, she's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is. She must be terrified of losing. You her. see? So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, um. Well, they say if you graduate, it's basically success. Which means I could keep on performing with my best friends forever and ever. At least that's what I thought. Well, now you're going to stay here forever and ever, Saika. Get wrecked. Owned. Noob. I really did believe that, but... 
Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. Who? Uh, uh, probably, I mean, your group. I mean, I was gonna make a joke about. Well, I'm here. The world out there is forgetting about me. Bruh, you're not a YouTube music artist. They release. What? They don't release an album every freaking day. And even if people are forgetting about you, you're never gonna see people ever again. Unless you get away with killing someone. Which is not good. That's not optimal. That's not the optimum choice. So. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing. But still. Sayaka, you're so cringe. What? I can't Why? believe he's stuck in here. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. Oh, let me read you that line. I can't believe I could be stuck in here. Oh. I, never mind. She sounds desperate. But I can understand why she'd feel that way. Oh, you think, you, trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into is on the verge of disappearing forever. And that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The weight she's carrying, I can't even imagine it. How much is she carrying? Okay, that was not a good joke. That wasn't. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um. I kind of killed the mood, huh? Yeah, you really did, Psycho. What the frick was that? Sorry. Oh, no, not at all. I'm really sorry. Um, Psycho? Actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? My first date. So, okay. You want to make us something out? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually a pretty good cook. No, you're not. You probably make like freaking chili sauce. What's your specialty? Chili oil. I, w I was close enough. You mean the condiment? <laughs> what the frick is chili sauce? Wait, wait. What is that? What is the, the liquid in chili? I've never made chili before. Now I'm sad. Just kidding. She burst out laughing. I'm actually awful at cooking. Alright, she's happy now. About to happen so fast. It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Um. Well, anyway, we headed back to the dining hall to get some meat. Just to get some eat. We're getting some eat before returning to our rooms. Why is the music silent? Why is there no music? 